Welcome to 519 Diecast. Got my weekend haul here. I didn't get a lot of stuff, so it should be a fairly quick video, I would imagine. I'm not sure, but I did get some M2, some green lights, some Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Masto Design, and I did get an order in that I've been waiting for since December, so I got a couple cars out of that I'm going to show you. So to start out with here, I guess we're going to start out with this 1988 GMC Sierra 1500. Right there. There's a uh, there she is. She's done in black and silver. Now, it's got the red interior, but it's what you would see back in 88. This is like a factory paint job on this truck. It's very sharp. There's the front of her. And I do believe this one comes as a chase as well. I This is not the chase. This is just your regular version, but I'm quite happy to find it. It's pretty sought after, I guess, this one here. And I understand it because it is a really good looking truck looks sharp and of course you got your choice of wheels there's those wheels there and another set there and your tires of course and then you get to put your engine in screwdriver but yeah i'm going to uh, do a video on one of these i'm going to put one together to find out if it's fun or if it's frustrating i don't know i might end up just doing two vit two uh models put them together and see how they they go together so that should be interesting. That'll be on a later video for sure. And then I got this Diet Coke. And this is a 1998 GMC Sierra 1500 4x4. And uh, yeah, this is A28, the release on this. And it's silver with the black interior. It's very cool. It's lots of metallic in that paint. Again, another one that's uh, very sought after. And uh, there's the front of her. And this one does come as a chase as well. This is not the chase. This is your regular version. But I was quite happy to find it. And I believe I got the the Jeep or Bronco. Maybe it's a Bronco. I'm not sure which one it is now. Uh, from this set. So I'm just missing one for this set. So there's the back of her. That is pretty cool. Good looking truck. I understand it. They used to be after all the square bodies. Now they're after all these uh, OBS, which is the old body style trucks, they're calling them. So, yeah. So that was a good find for me. I was happy to find those two for sure. And then we got this auto driver set, which I am very surprised that these are still on the pegs. Nobody's touching these. I don't know what's up with these ones. But I do like this one here. This is a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi. And it's released 97. And they've done it like a barn find as well. And I think that's awesome. I like when they do that. I did a car last weekend with the same style thing done to it. The barn find thing. And uh, I like it. It's orange with the black interior. Black hood there. You got the white wheel on the back. Black one on the front. It's pretty cool. It's like a barn find. I, I do like these. I think they look fantastic. Like I said, I don't know what's up with them. They're uh, they're not moving off the pegs. There seems to be a lot of them around. The whole set is just sitting there. So, yeah, that is a pretty cool car. That's release 97. Another one from that same release is this 1959 Chevy Corvette XP86. It's done in blue with the blue interior. Now... I believe this is my first casting of this car. I've never seen one before. It is pretty cool. It's got side pipes on it, chrome wheels. It is definitely a different type of car for sure. But it's it's all right. It's definitely different. So yeah, this is a, a first for me right there. Not bad. Part of the set, you gotta have it. And then we got the 1956 Ford F100 truck, which they did a really nice job with this. This is nice, clean looking truck. It's got nice five spoke wheels on her, black interior, black exterior with a, like a teal roof on it. The thing is just sharp. It is a cool looking truck. Nice and clean. I think that's right on. Awesome looking job there. Nice. Very nice truck. Love that one. Thing's fantastic. Nice job with that. And then we have the belly tanker, which I believe this was a salt flats vehicle. 
they made and it's out of an airplane fuel tank so that is pretty cool and uh, this is the first casting I have of this from M2 I believe uh, Hot Wheels done one quite a few years back but uh, I think this is a first for M2 and I think it looks pretty good not bad at all cool looking car for sure very unique pretty awesome I should have uh, probably did some research and see what the top speed of that one was I don't know if it would say it doesn't say anything on the back but yeah it's pretty cool very unique for sure I like it and to carry on with the M2's I've got this 1941 Willys coupe gasser which is release 69 which there was two vehicles I was missing for and I did get them so now I have the whole set of this release 69 41 Willys coupe gasser and it's done like a copper copper orange I guess it's got uh, white interior it's got nice wheels on her she's a good looking car and she's got the exhaust coming out underneath the uh, front door there or the door and uh, it's almost set up like it would be a gasser having the exhaust there but it's not set up as a gasser and there's the front of her looks pretty cool nice looking car love the color of this thing just pops really like that and there's the back of her and of course the box is a little jacked up on this one but you know what it's the best I could do it's the only one I found so I'm happy with it. The car's fine inside. It's just the box. Not too good a shape. But that's all right. Pretty cool car. Awesome. And then we got the last one for 69, which is an 1893 Chevy Silverado 1500 4x4. Now, this came from another collector, friend of mine. His name's Paul that uh, got me this. And uh, thank you very much, Paul. That's much appreciated. I got to finish my set, so that's pretty awesome. It's done in like a, like a light baby blue with a blue stripe, darker blue stripe, I guess. It's a good-looking truck. It's got a rack on the back there, you know, white interior. It's all right. You say these are quite sought after. And there's the front of her. Looks all right. Not a big fan of the colors, but uh, yeah, you know, whatever. There's the back. I did manage to get it for the set. So I did finish the set on this, so that's pretty cool. Love it. I just need to get the the last one for the uh, OBS series, and it's the um, 454 black SS uh, Chev truck. And then I can finish that set finally. But anyways, we'll carry on. And this is release 78. And I got five out of the six. I don't know what the sixth one is. I haven't looked it up to find out. I have to do that yet. But uh, this is a 1960s Volkswagen double cab USA model. Now, I have this van in lots of different colors now. It is pretty cool. I do like it in this black with the, uh, the chrome wheels. I would have guessed they would have made this like a goose chase or something, but they didn't. But that's the way uh, they're kind of done up. But they have goose chases have red interior. This one's black, but it's still pretty cool. There's the front of her, and of course it's part of the set. That's really the only reason I picked it up, is because it is part of uh, the whole set. So I'm just missing one from it, and hopefully I find it. We'll see. But yeah, that's uh one of them now this one here that is awesome love the colors 69 Chevy Camaro RS SS 396 love the color it's green with the black interior it just pops everything about this car just pops I absolutely love it I think it's fantastic nice chrome wheels on it the front wheels look a little large but the stance is nice with it looks all right it's a sharp looking car it's got the door opens and it looks like the hood opens on this one as well. There's a front of her. Very cool. Love that car. That looks really sharp. There's the back first. You all tubbed out. Just nice. Like that color. It suits that car. I don't know why, but it does. Thing is awesome. 
very nice and then we got kind of a different one here 1965 Ford Econoline delivery van this is corn nuts you know again I have this casting lots of times different uh, tempos on it and stuff but this here um, yeah it's part of the set so I had to get it it's got black interior cream ex cream exterior and it's a white bumper on the front there still pretty cool looking van just uh, it's not really my thing but it is part of the set like I said gotta get the whole set if you can there's that one it's all right and then we got the 32 Ford three window coupe which is awesome love this this is one of their new castings they have I think it's awesome love it it's got the black interior in there and it's kind of a a wine color exterior I guess and it's like an enamel it looks pretty good just got your hubcaps on the wheels there hopefully they do something different with the wheels on these things I think they'd be uh, pretty dang sharp when they do that but it, other than that it is a nice car I like the way it is the way it is now but when they put some nicer wheels on them I think it's gonna be a whole lot more sought after I would guess there's the back of her not bad cool looking car for sure absolutely love it and then I guess we got a 1966 Chevy Corvette 427 now this is purple with black interior I like this casting I've always liked this casting I think they did a great job with it the door gaps are a little big on it and everything but it it's just a sharp looking car I think they did a great job with it now I'm seeing on my camera here it looks kind of a bluish purple but this thing is actually purple like it is purple for sure with metallic in it it's pretty cool I like it a nice five spoke wheels on her red line tires awesome cool looking car there's the front of her I love this casting I always like this one I have this one in a goose chase as well so that's pretty cool uh, there's the back of her just an awesome looking car and it, it looks good in purple I don't know why but it does it just looks fantastic cool looking car love it so I guess that's the uh, M2 so flip these away get them out of the way for now and uh, carry on here we'll do some uh, actually I'm gonna do this Masto design which is it's a different one for sure it's not bad you know it's, it's got the 1987 Chevy 1500 but it's got a 2019 Subaru BRZ I don't know that car whatsoever but I'm kind of surprised that they put a Subaru and a Chev square body in the same box but whatever it's it's not bad it's it's Masto it, it's okay blue and white with the black interior on the truck blacked out wheels like Masto does do some really nice cars but uh, the Chev truck I think they could have worked on it a little bit more it's not a bad trailer you know not too bad with the graphics and everything not too bad and then the Subaru Breeze I don't know that car now you know it could be a really cool car I don't know I'm gonna have to really get it out and take a look at it because I don't know that car whatsoever but yeah it's done in the same paint scheme the whole thing with black interior like the whole unit is actually kind of cool I don't mind the unit at all but it is definitely a, a different setup with a Subaru and a Chev truck but whatever I guess you gotta try something new all the time and then I guess we'll go on with some green light now this is a Volkswagen Beetle Taxi. Now I don't have it as a taxi. Thought, so well, why not? It looks kind of cool. Now I don't think we've ever seen a Beetle Taxi around here, but uh, it's different. And I thought it was cool. It's yellow with the uh, black interior. It looks all right. I don't mind that at all. It's definitely different. So why not? Pretty cool. <laughs> it's all right and then I got this one another Volkswagen Beetle classic this one's done in orange with the black interior and uh, it's Bardol so Bardol um, yeah I'm probably not saying that right but anyways 
it's sort of like a racing theme on it so you know it kind of go with the damn diorama that i'm building so you know it might be all right or i might end up just giving this one away to a friend of mine he has an orange volkswagen so i don't know i haven't decided what i'm going to do with it yet but i think it's pretty cool not too bad so i got two volkswagen beetles this weekend which is a little different for me it's not usually what i pick up but it doesn't look bad i don't think it looks bad at all not too bad and i did find one and this is a smoky bear series and it's series two i didn't find any i found this one it's a 1996 ford bronco which is fine i like the ford bronco so yeah i'm all over it and it's done in green with black interior and white wheels i think it looks good not bad at all ford bronco like that yeah i didn't get any of the other ones didn't see them so i got this one anyways there's the uh back it's got the spare tire on the back there kind of cool not a bad looking machine at all i like the broncos so yeah there's a the card art not much to it but yeah it's whatever i guess and then i got a norman rockwell actually and i didn't even find this one mrs 519 found this one i haven't seen any of these this is the first one i've seen and uh this is a 1968 chevy c10 and uh this thing here is really really nice it's black on black with chrome wheels this thing is sharp and i think this one here will be a hard one to find i think she got very lucky finding this one because that is just cool and there's the uh the grill in front of her there pretty nice they did a nice job i like it done in black short box Nice efficient tackle shop on the side there. Rods, reels, and fresh bait. There's the back of her. That is just a cool looking truck. They did a bang up job with that one. Love it. And of course the car dart. It's just a couple guys fishing there. Kind of neat. But yeah, that is one sharp looking machine. Very nice. That one might be even hard to find, I would guess. Because that thing is beautiful. Then I got some busted knuckle. Not all of them because I couldn't find them all, but I did get two. And this is Series 2. And it's 1955 Chevy Bel Air. And uh, it's done in like a satin black. Actually, I'm going to move my camera up a little bit for this. Because uh, it's satin black, I would guess. And white and black interior. The thing is very sharp. White walled tires. I like this thing. That thing looks good fantastic now i can't see what it says on the windshield i'm hoping to be able to see it once i watch the video but right now i cannot see what it says but uh there's the front of her pretty cool car i like this thing thing is awesome 55 very nice job and it comes with a little box here and uh yeah once you take it out the package you can put it in the box Keep her nice and clean, I guess. That's pretty cool. Like that. Thing is awesome. And I did get the 1949 Buick Roadmaster Riviera convertible. And if you've watched any of my channel, you know, if you've seen one of these, you said how much I like it. And I love this casting. I think they did a fantastic job with it. And I like it like this with the black and the gray interior. It looks so much nicer. Like the other one I have, I think it's got red interior. It's kind of different. But um, this one here looks really, really sharp with these colors. Of course, it's got the hood emblem on it in the front there. The thing is really, really sharp. I like this car. Again, they did a nice job with this for sure. Love it. There's the back of her. Looks fantastic. And of course, it comes with the box as well to, to put in after you're done. But that is awesome. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. And then, I guess we'll get into some Hot Wheels. And, yep, there she is. It says it's new for 2023. It's Bigfoot. And, uh, you know, it's not really my thing, but it is the, the Ford truck. So, that's why I grabbed her. And she's got 75 on the side of it there. 
I'm not sure what the 75 means, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. It's a Ford truck, and that's why I got it. I think that is cool. And with this series, they bring out a Barbie, which is right there. And apparently that's supposed to be a treasure hunt. I don't know for sure. I've only heard that. I haven't seen it yet. But, uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to find one. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that because Barbie's pretty popular right now. So, yeah, if I find one, you guys will definitely see it on my channel. But, uh, yeah, no luck so far. There she is. That's the Ford truck. Love it. So, yeah, keep your eye out for that. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it is a treasure hunt or not. I've only been told it is. I've heard that. I have no idea. Then I got this uh, pink Porsche 911 Camry, which um, yeah, I like it. And I can't say for sure I've even got this one. I don't think I do, but I may have. I'm forgotten. I'm not sure, but I think it's really, really sharp. I like this. This is new for 2023. I have a white one like this, but this is orange, and this is awesome. Very nice job with this car. I think that looks fantastic. It's orange with the black interior. You know, they probably should have bring this out in October. And it could have been like a Halloween car, maybe. But yeah. <laughs> it's alright. I like that. It looks really good. Awesome looking vehicle, for sure. And then we have the 1961 Jeep. Now, this is moving parts. And uh, I'm trying to think. I've looked at this thing a few times now. And I'm just trying to think if I have this casting or not. I'm thinking I have a green one. But I don't think it is this vehicle uh it's similar but i don't think it's the same but uh yeah this thing's actually pretty cool this is the front grill you can tell she's jeep i think it's got the dump box on it there it's kind of cool yeah it's not a bad looking machine at all it's very different and the card is actually white and it's not orange and i'm not sure what that's really about yet but uh it's the 70th anniversary. It's got this little decal on the side there. So yeah, it's just a, kind of a unique little machine for sure. But that was cool. like that. It's all right. And then the other matchbox I picked up here is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog uh, U5023. So it's police, and it's very different. I'd never seen one of these before. And... Uh, it's got some tools in the back of the box there. It's kind of different. But yeah, she's not bad. Flat deck. There's the front of her. And it's police. Now, I don't know what the police use these for, but it must be for something. I'm not sure what, but eh, whatever. But it's a different type of buggy, that's for sure. But yeah, as I was saying with the card art, or not the card art, but see, the one's white and the other one's orange. It's a little different. So there must be a special thing, I guess, for these. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing. Not sure. And then the last two ones I got here. I've been waiting for these things forever. And I finally got it. Now, these say Street Warrior. And when I ordered them, they were um, street weapons, according to the advert, I guess. And uh, these are Ken Block cars. This is the uh, 1965 Ford Mustang, and uh, they're very, very nice. Now, I just don't understand the Street Warrior part of it. They should have been Street Weapon, I would have thought. Now, I don't know if these are knockoffs or what, but I'm telling you, they're nice. If they are knockoffs, they're nice. It doesn't say anywhere on these things about being Street Weapons, but they were advertised as Street Weapons. But they are just cool. I'm happy to finally get them. This is something I ordered back in December. So that's uh, pretty cool. And they are numbered. There's numbers. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But it's a plate with the uh, serial number or number. It's so many out of 999. But uh, yeah, that is one cool car. Ken Block. Very happy to finally get it. But yeah, there's nothing on here saying anything about street weapons. It says street warriors. So I don't know what's going on there. But whatever. 
So that's uh, one of them right there. And we got the 1977 Ford F-150. Awesome job with this as well. The uh, detail that they put in this truck is just awesome. That thing is very nice. There's lots of stuff going on in the back there. I don't know how well you'd see it, but uh, yeah, nice job. This is a cool looking truck. I absolutely love it. It is the uh, Ford truck, so of course I'm all over it. And it is Ken Block, so yeah, excellent. Very nice truck. And it, it too has the plate and the number that it is uh, such and such out of 999. So yeah, that is one cool looking machine. Lots of detail. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I did finally get them. Very happy, happy with that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I got. So yeah, if you like that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.